Hey guys, it's Christine. I'm here with a video on the new um, grade three math with confidence level. Woohoo! It's very new, um, but I thought that I would give you guys a little bit of an overview and just my thoughts on it initially. And um, yeah, so if you're interested, keep watching. Okay, here we go. We are starting grade three math with confidence. I got this, I bought this and I downloaded it and printed it and everything right before we moved house because I wanted it ready for when we were here because I didn't want to have to do that just after we had moved and I knew that my son was very close to starting it. So a little bit of context, we started using math with confidence at the beginning of the school year. So both my son and my daughter are using it uh, my daughter's in grade one. My son has just finished grade two and is going into grade three. So he would have been doing level three math from the good and the beautiful this year, but it just wasn't a good fit for us this year. We've used it right up until this point from the start of homeschooling, but it just wasn't gelling this year. And so we switched to this. I did do grade two math with confidence with him because I felt like he had some gaps and also just some reinforcement on certain topics. But we moved through it very quickly. And we like at the end, we were doubling up on lessons and he was just flying through it. So I was like, you know what, there's going to be review at the beginning of grade three. So we're just going to skip there. So that is what we've done. Now I bought this from Well Trained Mind because you can buy the PDF version on there and I printed it at home. It's very printer friendly. So the um, the instructor guide, which I've got here, is all in black and white. So nice to print at home. Doesn't use a heck of a lot of ink. Um, and I learnt from the previous levels and I actually bound this into two books because it's huge. Like the instructor guides are massive and I just, felt like it was better and easier to have them in two separate books. I, I did a part A and a part B, um, but it, it, like very similar layout to the previous grades, except it is different in the sense that the units are broken down differently. So in grades one and two, you've got your weeks, which are four day weeks with an optional fifth lesson. Um, these are just broken into units and you get to decide how many lessons you do a week. So every unit has a different number of lessons in it and there is an optional lesson. It's still got the checkpoints just like the other grades. Um, very similar in all that um, kind of way, but it does have, like I think there's like 10 lessons in this first unit um, and a lot of them are review from of previous concepts. So that is a change from the previous grades. I actually like it because I feel like it gives you even more time to practice things if your child isn't quite where they need to be. Um, and you have more flexibility with your schedule. So that is something to keep in mind. And then I also have the two workbooks. Now, the, it does come in two workbooks. So you will get two instead of just one. Um, and I spiral bind everything because that's how I like it to be. Um, the difference with the workbooks is this year... In the previous grades, they had two pages. They had the page that was either something they did along with you in the lesson or it was um, like practice questions from the con lesson that they were just taught. And then on the back page, there would be review. So in this grade three, they've actually got three pages. So the first page here is what you will do with your child during the lesson. So you will do this with them during the lesson. And then the next page, oh my goodness, if I can turn it is practicing the concepts that they just learnt. It's independent work. Or, you know, if they need your help, you can do it with them. And then there's a review page. So there are now three pages in the work for, workbook for them to do every day. So there's definitely um, an increase in the amount of work that they need to be doing. This grade does start teaching multiplication. And I'm pretty sure it does division as well. I haven't checked yet. Pretty sure it goes into division as well. Um, I'm excited to go into that. I feel like my son has a really strong foundation already in the last six months. I, f I feel like there's a big difference. Um, and just his ability to quickly recall numbers and solve equations and things like that. Um, so I, this is not really a review of this grade because we've really just started it. But I will say that so far he's coping well with the extra workload. He was doubling up lessons in the last one. So I feel like he already, you know, was pushing himself. 
and I'm excited to see how he does. So we're not going to complete this all by the end of the year. That's not my goal at all. We'll be moving into the next year and obviously they don't have grade four out yet. I know that there are plans for it so we will wait on that next year probably. Um, I still have the good and the beautiful math printed out because that's what we intended to use this year. So he may do some, you know, lessons in there just for, I don't know, fun or follow up. Who knows? We'll see. Um, but right now I feel like it's very much enough. I feel like there's lots of practice. Um, he loves the games and I really enjoy playing them with my kids. So yeah, same as the other levels, lots of games, lots of hands-on stuff, lots of manipulatives, things that you can easily find around the home. Um, or you can like modify or substitute because I definitely do that a lot, especially if I'm feeling lazy. <laughs> I'll just change things up. Um, but still beautiful and colorful. I was just showing a friend this week. Um, I like it. The thing that I really enjoyed about this is it, it pulls a lot of the stuff that I loved from the good and the beautiful. Um, the hands-on, the games, the pretty pictures. I mean, it's not as artistic as the good and the beautiful, but there's still brightness and color in here. But it's a lot more simple. So I can give this to my son and he can go read the instructions himself. Whereas the good and the beautiful, there was a lot more reading. And because he wasn't a confident reader, it was really overwhelming. So um, I'm not saying that the good and the beautiful is a bad choice for math curriculum by any means. We really enjoyed it and it works wonderfully for a lot of families. But this suits my kids better at the moment. So that's my overview of the new grade three math with confidence and um, I'll definitely keep you updated on how it goes throughout the rest of the year. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars.